Hey guys, James in Vegas here again. I am here with a quick update on my robot vacuum. If you recall from the previous video, it is a D-Bot uh, 661, I think. Yeah, D-Bot 661. And uh, it does vac vacuuming as well as mopping. So you have to obviously change out the tank and put the water in it. Um, and then it'll automatically switch to, to mopping. But let's go ahead and take a look and see. Um, I have it mounted, well, I have it charging underneath my stainless steel prep table that I use for my mead making. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it and get it started to vacuuming. Okay guys, I have it charging down underneath the stainless steel table and it automatically will find the charger once the battery goes low or once you tell it to. Now, this does have the capabilities of, hi Stella, this does have the capabilities of using the Alexa app or as voice control, uh, but under the skills, I've been finding that it actually tends to drop the connection or drop the uh, linking, the account linking every day. So I've had to go in and actually do the account linking every day and it's just kind of a pain in the, in the ass to do that. So I've only been using the timer as well as the app and uh, Stella does not like the vacuum very much. I, by the way, I named the vacuum Consuela after the family guys made. So let's go ahead and take a look at the app and let's get Consuela started. So if we just go in and open up the EchoVac app, I've already had it set up and you can see that it says Consuela and it's online. And then I can just push the enter smart cleaning and I can select uh, the edge of the, of the apartment, auto or spot. Now I always just do auto. You can also go in and set up your cleaning schedule and just add a cleaning schedule with the time and the days. Uh, I like to do it when I'm here because I pick up Stella's uh, dog food and, and things like that. So let's go ahead and get Stella into, um, she's not mopping mode. I don't know why it recognized mopping mode, that's strange. It's actually in vacuuming mode. So let's go ahead and get her started by pushing the button. As you can see, Consuela already left her charger and she's underneath my coffee table now. There she is. And she goes around and she avoids things to some degree. Uh, she has some sort of sensor that detects um, like infrared beam or something like that. But with dark items, she has a hard time and she'll run into them. But there's a bumper on the front. So when that bumper hits something, she, um, I'm calling her she, her name's Consuela. When the bumper hits something, she'll turn around. So I'm trying to get her to follow me over here. Here we go. Oh, see, that's a dark uh, leg and those are dark and those are dark. But she's being gentle now. She's like, oh, okay, something is there. So she'll charge or she'll run for about an hour and a half and then just go around the whole apartment vacuuming for me. And then uh, when she's done charging or when she's done uh, vacuuming, uh, her battery starts to get low. She'll automatically go back to her charging station and charge up. So right now she's underneath inside my closet vacuuming underneath there. Now this is just standard um, standard suction power. So she actually does have another setting where you have like max suction power. And if you see those white things on the floor over there, that's actually paint chips that uh, when they painted the apartment, they just dropped it on there. I just need to scrape those up. They're not loose so she can't vacuum them up. Stella does not like her. She thinks she's going to eat her food now so she's going to run over and try to eat her food. So let's go ahead and take a look and tell it to go back to the charger. Okay so we're going to go back into the app and the button on the lower right hand corner is telling it to go charge. Now keep in mind it'll automatically do this when the battery gets low, but I just wanna show you the process. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the button now. And it says return to charging dock. And as you can see now, 
Consuela is heading back toward the charging dock. If there's things in her way, it does take her some time to get there. Sometimes she'll turn around too far and go the opposite direction. But uh, usually she's pretty good. So she's creeping or trying to creep around it. Oh, here she comes the wrong direction again. So I'm going to go ahead and put my foot out. Make her turn around more. There we go. Move, Stella. So she's automatically finding her, her station. I think she already picked up on the sensor. There's like an infrared uh, light that comes out from the charging base and she's already picked up on it. That's why she's kind of wiggling her way in. And there she is, she's charging now. All right guys, so that was Consuela and the D-Bot, Echovac D-Bot 661 doing his vacuuming. Uh, now let's take a look at the mopping. I haven't done the mopping yet, so this is gonna be the first time. I'm gonna go ahead and use the tank that came with it as well as some fluid from a Swifter jet. Um, because I, I have it left over when it broke. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so I'm just gonna handhold this. So it's gonna be a little bouncy, but this is the water tank that came with it. Um, you just fill up water in there or your cleaning solution. And I have this bottle from my um, Swifter Jet. Now, these you can't get off, uh, but there's a trick. If you take a little pot of boiling water and then you dip this in it, just the white cap, just the white cap here for like a minute in boiling water, then there's some things inside here that will actually loosen up. And I won't be able to do it with one hand, so let me go ahead and pause the video. All right, so you see those little nubbies in there? Those are stiff when you get them, that's why you can't undo them. It's like a uh, screw on cap that doesn't unscrew because of those. So once you stick it in the boiling water, the plastic warms up enough to where you can undo it and then or unscrew it. And once you unscrew it, they bend over. So it's a lot easier to open them up. So let's go ahead and pour the solution into the tank. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do it over the sink because the hole isn't that big and I'm not very good at uh, lining things up when I'm pouring fluids and stuff. So let's just go ahead and do that. Not sure if it'll take the whole thing or not, but let's see. Nope, it's a little full there. Let's see. Okay, so it is in there now, 300 milliliters it says. Okay, so I have the echo back here uh, from D-Bot 661. Uh, it's yelling at me because I took it off the charger. And one of the things I don't like about it, I mean, the high gloss looks nice, but the second you touch it, your fingerprints are all over it and it just looks dirty. Um, it's easy to clean and polish it. You just gotta be careful that you don't leave fingerprints. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the dust bin out of the vacuum and I'm gonna swap it with the mopping bin. And it, the easy way to do that, it's actually very simple. You just push down on this little piece in the back and the bin comes right out. And while I have this open, I'll show you the little air filter goes in here. There's a little white air filter and then there's a little black uh, cover that goes on it. You just put it back in there and then you close it down. And then to open up the uh, the dust trick collection, you can see, look at that. That was from several days, this all week. So I do a, a vacuum about once or twice a day. And this is all Stella's hair, basically. So let me dump this out. And I'll usually, I'll clean that out and wipe it all out later, but 
And then in here is where the other side of the filter is. So you should always clean this out as well. And then, you know, clean out your dust bin. And then it just goes right back in there. And then you just close it up. So let's grab the, let's grab the mop tank reservoir. And it has the same connector here. So let's grab my vacuum, Consuela. And it just slides in. And you can see that it's, you got the pad here. It's a little bit taller or a little bit, you know, longer. And uh, I'm gonna go and put it down on the floor and get it to mop. Okay, so Consuela is in mopping mode. And as you can see, there's definitely uh, some of the solution down on the floor. You can see where she's going and just doing her mopping thing. I can see it's going to be a little tough for her to get all the way into the corners. Because the uh, mop is on the back side, the mop pad is on the back side. But I mean, so far, she's doing as good as the Swifter Jet did. And I think for day to day mopping, this will be fine. Uh, you'll still need to go in and, you know, like hand mop around the edges of the apartment. And yeah, Stella had a. Uh, a little bit of an anxiety issue the other day because our temperatures have been very high. So I'm going to have to paint over that door, repair it a little. Bad Stella. Why you do that? Huh? So yeah, um, that's the mopping. And you can tell that solution from the Swifter Jet is drying up pretty quick. All right, so all in all, I'm pretty happy with the purchase. All the items that I got, uh, including the vacuum itself, the um, accessories, the toolkit, that sort of thing, a replacement mopping pads, all of that was like $200, less than $200. Uh, and I'll have links to those on uh, Amazon down below. And yeah, I am gonna become an affiliate partner. So uh, if you do purchase anything using the links in my description of the videos, I'll get a little cut from it, very little. Uh, just getting that set up now. But uh, if you haven't heard, it's about 115 degrees here in Las Vegas and it's warm. So you'll, you'll see me sweating. I apologize for that, but it's pretty warm. I had to turn the AC back on. I had it off for the video, uh, but it's pretty hot. I got pretty hot. But all in all, the only thing negative I can say about the uh, D-Bot setup was simple, super easy. Um, the, the, the app itself is simple and intuitive to do. The skill to use with the uh, your Echo device it needs some work because it disconnects every day and you had to relink your account. So basically the voice commands, I would be able to say, ask Consuela to clean and then it would tell her to go clean and she would clean. Uh, but it doesn't, it's not functional in my opinion because you have to relink it every day. So I just will set a timer um, or I'll just do it while I'm here and let her clean while I'm here. Uh, and also the other thing is, the, the glossy black looks great. I mean, it looks nice and sleek and professional, but trying to keep your fingerprints off of it is really difficult to do. Uh, but once you get it polished and cleaned off, you can keep it that way. Just don't touch it. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I appreciate all your subscri subscribers, the thumbs ups and the comments. Uh, I look forward to putting out more videos for you. So if you haven't already, please go and give this video a thumbs up. Go through my playlist and watch the other videos. Give those thumbs up. Go in the comment section. Tell me what you think of the vacuum. If you have a vacuum, what model you might have. If you're thinking about getting a vacuum, I recommend this one. It's a good cost-effective uh, solution. Uh, for 200 bucks, you get a decent vacuum and a mop. Um, and if you would, go down and click on that link in below and take you to Amazon. And then uh, you can get me some affiliate cash from that. Again, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't liked or subscribed, please do so now and I will see you on the next video. Have a great one.